Let's make a PVC scrubber. For my safety equipment, I have my gloves and my goggles because I am using PVC glue. For tools, I have you know a pair of pliers for tightening up some of these bushings. And I have um, PVC primer and PVC glue ready to go. For the parts, two inch, long two inch PVC pipe that's cut 18 inch long two inch wide PVC pipe two two inch couplings and then there are two inch bushings I wasn't able to find both uh, half inch to two inch bushings one of them is a half inch to two inch bushing and the other is a three quarter to two inch bushing both are threaded and that's no problem because this uh, precious half inch to two inch threaded is really tricky to find. But an easy solution is to use the more common three quarter inch to two inch and then just use an adapter, which will thread in like this. Okay. And then to attach to a gas line, I'm going to be using half inch threaded to half inch PEX. And this is gonna to attach to a 3 8 inch gas line. Now with the PEX, it is, cap it is possible to get this attached to the gas line. If we heat it up, I'm going to show you how to do that later. For anything that I have that is threaded, I'm going to be using this threading tape on this adapter as well as these PEX adapters. Here's a better look of the packaging for the PEX adapters. Let's get started with the gluing. I have my goggles on and my gloves on so I don't get any of that PVC primer or paint on myself. And I'm gonna start with my first end to my pipe. I make sure this is nice and smooth and level, even. So I'll get a good tight seal. And first I'm going to put on a two inch coupling right here. So first I get the primer. I'm gonna do a layer a primer to the inside here and you can see it's dripping all over the place. Primer is messy and the trick with the primer is that you want to apply the PVC glue immediately afterwards. I'm going to give myself a nice swirl of PVC glue in here and my dad used to always say if your glue is not dripping on the table you haven't used enough. And when I put this piece on I like to apply pressure and give it a little twist and this seals right away. The primer and the glue combo is a very toxic smell so you want to be in a well ventilated area so I got the windows open here in the basement. I am not doing this in the house. So the next piece I'm going to put on is going to be this bushing. So I'm going to get my primer. I'm going to prime here. I'm going to apply my PVC cement. Nice thick layer of PVC cement. And then I'm going to pop this right here into this coupling. And it goes, there we go. Nice tight seal there. So for my other side, I have a two inch union. And I like the union because this is really handy for when you need to change the steel wool. So this is the side that is going to be on the end of the scrubber. And when you unscrew this, you're going to see that there is an O-ring here, which allows this to become gas tight as soon as you screw this together. So for now, to avoid having any glue getting into here, I am only going to glue this piece on first and I'm gonna share how I'm gonna put this on later. First, I do my layer of primer. And now for a nice thick coating of the cement. And I don't wait, quick as I can, I get that onto the end of the two inch PVC that is 18 inches long. And I'm doing that screwing motion while I am pushing. And you can see this is already start to seal. And you know, you can see why I wanted to do this separate just in case any glue got up here. I wouldn't want this to interfere with being able to take this off later. 
here is the end of the two inch union that is a slip and this piece of PVC is going to go into here. I am going to get my primer, get a nice swirl of the primer, just let that drip out, and a nice coating of the PVC glue. And here we go. Put this in with a twist. It goes in nicely just like that. So this is the end of the two inch union and now comes the two inch coupling and again got my primer like so and now a nice generous amount of the cement you saw it drip on my paper so it means I've got enough glue and here we go this goes together like so and as you turn it you can actually feel it getting tight because that is the glue heating up and curing as we go. And so the final piece that I need to glue is going to be this two inch to three quarter inch bushing. Same thing. It's my primer. Drippy, drippy, drippy. And my glue. And here we go. Push in a twist. And that's together. Beautiful. We're ready to thread it up. So this is the three quarter inch to half inch adapter and I have my threading tape. So threading tape works best as if you are using it like toilet paper in the sense that you have this tail end of your roll facing out and few turns around here, smoothing it out with my thumb. Nice layer of threading tape on all of the threads and I am making sure that the threads are still visible so this will thread. Give it a little pull. There we go. Nice and smooth and here we go so these notches on this piece are for a purpose i usually like to do this finger tight as far as i can go and then once i get as far as i can go i use my pliers to finish the job so i have everything nice and tight now i'm going to apply threading tape to this half inch to half inch PEX adapter. And it's the same thing. Nice smooth layer of threading tape to make sure we are gas tight for sure. Okay, this looks good. Give it a little pull and smooth her out. And here we go. Nice and finger tight to start and then finish off with the pliers. looks pretty good. Um, everything is taped up with the threading tape and I've gotten my threads in as far as I could. So this is what the end looks like for the PVC union before I put it together. This is the end of the scrubber that does not come unscrewed that I was lucky enough to get the half inch threaded so I'm going to threading tape this up and screw this in. Covering all the threads. Here's what everything looks like now that I've finished doing my gluing. So last I need to get all of my steel wool in here. When adding the steel wool I like to pull it apart some because I want it to fully occupy the space of the tube. I don't want there to be any Spaces because if I just put it in like this, there'd be air going around all of this. So I want to kind of fluff it out so that it fully fills the tube and it helps to have another piece of PVC just kind of to tamp it down in there. And I'm going to keep tamping these pieces in until this whole tube is filled.
now that I've got this completely packed with steel wool, I am ready to put on the end of my scrubber. Um, this is the, the part of the two inch union. This is going to pop straight through like this. And then this just spreads up like so. And because of the O-ring, it's going to be gas tight, but I'm going to double check. Starting the gas test, I got my soapy water here, and I'm just gonna apply this to all of my seals around here. And then I'm going to plug this in, and I'm gonna make sure I don't see any bubbles coming out because that would not be good, because that means we have a leak that we then have to adjust. So I'm gonna block this and blow on the other end All right, that end is good. And we're gonna test this side now. I think we're in the clear. I think this is a finished project. Did not take long at all to complete. All right, so we're finished. This is my new scrubber. I am very satisfied with this. Another thing is when I am not blocking the other end, you should be able to blow clear through there, so there should be no blockage. I'm all set to put my new scrubber in. This is a Pusheen scrubber. It has definitely been here way too long. What I don't like about this design is that there is no way to replace the steel balls in here or to see how it's doing and what I've noticed is that I've waited too long to replace it because I can obviously see a good amount of rust building up in this gas line which is not good and it it definitely has like a very rusty aroma to it so this one is designed to be placed vertically the one that I have built is meant for being placed horizontally and that prevents the water from building up in one end of the scrubber. So this scrubber is going to go right here. Before I started this project I turned off the gas line for the gas storage. I turned off all the gas lines for the basement biodigester because I wouldn't want anything to possibly catch fire while I was um, going to be using a hair dryer to heat up these little ends of the gas line that have gotten hard over time. So the first step is I'm going to get this scrubber attached over here to this pipe. Oh, it's a bit of a tight fit. Ooh, she's alive. I hear her bubbling. Somebody just put something down the sink upstairs. All right, so I like how this sets here. I have this nice and level. this on. See, there you go. A little bit of heat fixes everything. And I personally like to have a ring on here just to make sure this is nice and tight and it's not going to pop off. So here we go. Open that up a little bit more. Perfect. 
so this is level and this is secure. I will put on this other end and other than that, this is fully installed.